Good evening, 1017. I'm going to call the Finance Committee meeting to order Wednesday, March 13th, 2024. Uh, we'll try and uh, go through the items expeditiously. Uh, first item on the agenda is review of the Executive Financial Summary Report for the period ended uh, February 29th, 2024. Uh, that report was attached to the agenda. Our finance consultant, uh, Steve Weisner, did a uh, uh, excellent job in continuing to provide us with more information. Uh, he, he's attached what he calls a, a secretary's report, uh, which gives some uh, narrative, some comments on the finance statements. And then he has attached a summary of the uh, of our balance sheet, assets and liabilities, and a summary of the revenue and expenses. And then a hundred or more pages after that, if you if you want to get into any more detail. Um, so before I ask if there are any questions, um, I'm going to uh, give Steve the opportunity uh, if he wishes to make any comments. Not necessarily, it's an opportunity. Okay. No, we're quite... Well, I'm I'm certain. Uh, thank you. I think you did a great introduction, Commissioner Norris. And uh, if there are any questions, I'm happy to answer them. We 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 got it down to to just uh, two pages of, of uh, summary, and uh, the detail is still there behind it. And uh, there are tabs that will guide you through it. So that's all I will offer. Unless there are any questions. Thank you. And despite some of the uh, difficulties with staffing in the department, uh, we uh, Steve and I. Um, Along, I see uh, Bill Boylan is also on here. So along with his assistance, uh, we will continue to work to make improvements and refine these reports uh, to provide the information uh, to the commissioners, staff, and residents. Okay, any questions or comments? Not seeing any. I'll move on to number uh, two, report of the finance officer. Uh, Mr. Mark Lieberson, uh, you you are here. Your Mr. Mr. Chair, uh, I'm sorry. Do, do we have to uh, accept the executive financial summary? Uh, yeah, we probably do. All those in favor of accepting the executive financial summary for the period ending February 2024, say aye. 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 Thank you, Mr. Thank you. Uh, okay, report of the finance officer. Mark. Yeah, Commissioner, I mean, just... Yeah, the report was sent out and is attached. Uh, are there any questions from anybody regarding the report? Commissioner Zygmunt? Oh. I do. I do have one okay. I do have one question. Okay, it looked like you did, but I I did. I always do. Hey Mark, <laughs> in, 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 late in your report, you have uh the information on the number of audits. You show approximately thirteen hundred and ninety-one, seven hundred and ninety-four who never filed. I'm wondering out of the, the 600 that are, are not accounted for the never filing, how many of those are duplicates uh, within a year? So you have go back to 2015. So I'm wondering, are those 600 unique? No, they're separate. They're separate, Mitch. So um, there's 600 individual businesses uh, on top of this that, you know, uh, owe us uh, some, some uh, reporting between 2015 and 2023. Yes, uh, yeah, Thank they're not duplicates. They're they're all separate. Uh, okay, and, and there are uh, seven hundred and ninety four that got a license and never filed. Um, and um, I'm doing it one year at a time. I we did a mass mailing to the hundred and fourteen uh, accounts from twenty twenty one, and I got a nice response. So those are the ones that simply uh, failed to file for twenty twenty two at this point. Um, but um, it's a big job. It's a big job, which is why I also in the report asked maybe we can revisit the possibility of uh, exploring the tax facilitated position. Uh, I modified a little bit where uh, if we did move forward with that, uh, it would be strictly based on a uh, uh, commission kind of thing. So there would not be any uh, cash cost to the township or the district, the school district, which I think they also would need to partake in this since they will be receiving the benefits of that also. Did Thank you. Yep. Commissioner Zygmunt Felt, did that answer your question? It does. Thank you. 
Uh, anybody have any other questions for Mr. Lieberson? Then, Mark, um, I, I did see that you uh, incorporated uh, in your report, uh, again, a desire to uh, uh, change the structure there or add an individual. Um, I just want to state, we, we certainly appreciate all your uh, attempts and hard work uh, to increase collections, increase revenue for the township. Um, at, at this point in time, um, I think uh, I'm going to suggest that we're going to defer that decision um, uh, for another opportunity, perhaps for the commissioners to discuss it more fully. Dan, it's not going to be, I'm still going to continue to, to do the best I can to bring in as much revenue as possible. Uh, I just, you know, that's, it's not either or, let me put it that no. way. Oh, no, I, I understood that. I didn't mean to suggest it was either or. I, I was just uh, sort of rather, I, I was trying to comment and not ignore uh, your mm -hmm. request there for uh, another position to be added. Uh, I'm mm -hmm. suggesting we're not ready to discuss it tonight. No problem. I just do want to add something else that is part of the report where I talk about uh, uh, Markham um, <laughs> and the audits. I just received, and I, I think I wrote on it something that we have a one out, couple out there of, of a significant amount. I did receive, uh, Gary called me yesterday and uh, there was one that we came to a verbal agreement of uh, back taxes and of six figures. Excellent. That's well, all I can share in, in this venue at this point. But no yes. point, Mr. Chairman, a point on that? Yes, Commissioner Sigmundfeld. And that is, you know, we've in the the past we've looked at some of the the ratios of cost versus return, right. and I believe last time he was at about a twenty to one ratio. I do think that the finance office and the activity that they're engaging on predominantly on behalf of the township because it's business privilege tax, we should entertain that. And why I would make a recommendation that in the next two months, we have an executive session where certain information is disclosed that cannot be disclosed in a public session, but that gives the commissioners an understanding of what the potential value could be in facilitating a portion of those collections to go into funding additional resources for the finance office. I don't think that's an unreasonable request or expectation given the performance, particularly as he's identified or that many people who still, that many businesses that still potentially owe the township significant funds. Uh, not unreasonable at all for, from my point of view. Um, and that's, that's sort of what I was getting at, that uh, we weren't ready for a discussion now, uh, but uh, I do I do think it uh, your suggestion for an executive session, uh, if not in the coming month and in the following month, um, uh, is uh, certainly appropriate. Uh, and I think we should follow up on that. Dan, Any, one more, one more yes. point, by the way, we're, since we're talking about the uh, McMarkham, uh, it dawned on me, a little late, but it dawned on me that there are other uh, entities uh, within the township that are benefiting from Gary's uh, activities through the mercantile tax. So I'm going to be getting to try to uh, make other entities, uh, I'm, I'm being generic here, uh, other entities who benefit from the collections uh, to uh, build them out for some of the costs incurred that the township has been assuming for Markham. Okay. Thank you. Any other commissioner comments or questions? Okay, not seeing any. Thank you, Mark. My pleasure. Um, moving on to old business. Um, just a, uh, oh, actually, uh, update on the tr transition to OpenGov. Uh, again, I'm in the interest of efficiency. Um, uh, that was, there was a note in the attached um, summary that was prepared by Steve Weisden in, in his report, where he gives a brief update on the transition to OpenGov. Uh, I think that's sufficient for now, unless anybody has any questions or comments. Well, we of course need to and must continue to monitor uh, the implementation and the transition to our new software. Um, but not seeing any, I will move on to close old business and move on to new business. 
Uh, we have two items before I ask if there are any others. The first is to consider recommending, um, let's see, I'm gonna back up since the Mr. President didn't remind me. Uh, all those in favor of uh, receiving the report of the finance officer say aye. 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 I abstain. Yeah, abstain. No, I do abstain because I can't make decisions going into our fourth hour of meetings. Okay. So I'm going to be abstaining for the rest of uh, all of our calls today because at, at okay. 1030 at night, this I'm not clear headed. I'm not making wise decisions. So. Okay. All right. Thank you. Um, we're okay. Moving along. Uh, new business for a consider recommending the board of commissioners approve the purchase of ESRIs. ARC GOS, Geographic Information System for Integration with OpenGov. Uh, and there was an attachment. Um, and I think I saw Mike on. Yep. Uh, how are we doing, Commissioner? Hey, um, you. Try and make this as brief as possible. I did just realize uh, tonight, looking at the agenda, that the um, actual agreement um, uh, did not make it on there, just the memo. That's my fault. Apologies. Um, but more or less, that agreement was reviewed by the solicitor. Uh, he did give his okay to that agreement. So real quick, just to go over some of the information, which was really just the pricing, um, so you're all aware. Um, first off, just to mention, this was a budgeted item and a known expenditure, so nothing nothing uh, out of what we did not expect uh, that we were going to look to acquire uh, Esri's ArcGIS platform, like many other municipalities in our area. Um, so this is a three-year step program. Uh, which means that for the first year, the price of the program is uh, $14,724.08. Uh, the year two on the program is $28,196.04. And the third year of the agreement is 40900 So a total over the three years, uh, $83,820.12. And again, it was a budgeted item uh, for us. Um, more or less, I... Uh, I apologize that the physical agreement was not uh, uh, in there. I will make sure working with Ashley and Allison that that uh, gets added. Uh, but really, that that just had the pricing information. Uh, all the details uh, were in that uh, memo. So are there any specific questions I can answer uh, not to go over any more uh, time on that? Uh, yeah, thank you, Mike. And I had reached out this afternoon and got in that and received that pricing information, noting that it was missing. Um, and just a point of information there also. Uh, though it's a three-year agreement, um, we do have the opportunity to uh, to drop the agreement or or cease the agreement uh, after one year or after two years. Question, Mr. Chairman? Yes, Commissioner Zygmuntfeld. It's hard to see Michael, you. Michael, uh, are we able to, to uh, track and distribute the costs against the different functions that are utilizing the GIS system? Because That's it's fine. multiple multiple uh, parts of our township and multiple um, you know multiple groups or whatever you know whether it's within uh, purchasing or whether it's within um, operations have ha can capitalize on that. But it, it, not everybody uses all the functions, so I'm wondering if we can distribute uh, and then analyze the cost against the different functions in which we're taking advantage and utilizing. Um, the GIS system. Yeah, th there would be a way that we could probably analyze the usage um, of it and then distribute, you know, versus stormwater um, and wherever we can yeah. do it as long as it's legally allowed to do that due to the funding. And structure. I would encourage us to yeah. do that, to make the case that the, you know, the expense is, is supported by the different either cost controls or revenue streams that it's creating on our behalf. Yeah, and it it was again pointed out to me this afternoon that uh, this, this software um, that uh, the uh, permitting department, uh, the police department, um, I guess you might say administration. If you say asset management, I'm not maybe that's a tax office, everything. Right. So yeah, so that's why I made that recommendation because I think if we're looking at that uh, expense when you start to see it against its productivity it doesn't become you know an unreasonable investment no good suggestion commissioner thank you um see jeff sometimes at 10 30 some of my best ideas come out when everybody else is quiet 
Uh, good ideas can come at 7.30, <laughs> Doesn't need to be in a fourth hour of a meeting. <laughs> Any other questions or comments from staff or commissioners? Uh, all those in favor of recommending to the legislative session uh, that we purchase this uh, GIS software, say aye. 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 Abstain. Aye. Any opposed? Okay. It passes one abstention. Um, 4B under new business. Um, uh, this should be an easy one. Consider recommending the Board of Commissioners approve a resolution establishing authorized agents on township depositories. This is simply uh, changing the names for the uh, for the commissioners who can sign checks. Uh, not just commissioners, it also includes the township manager, but she was on it before. Um, any questions or comments on this? It was attached. Okay, then all those in favor of, uh, again, sending to the legislative session, uh, this resolution, which establishes uh, the agents on our township depositories, say aye. 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 Abstain. And one abstention. Um, any other new business for the Finance Committee? Okay. Citizens Forum for the Finance Committee. Okay. I'll take a motion to adjourn. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Thank you, everyone. Have a good evening. <laughs>